I wonder, did the party receive my application? <laughs> that is funny, Jimmy. No, it's not. Jimmy, it's really funny. Chill out, man. Jimmy, I need to talk to you about something. Not now, Pete. I'm basking in adulation. I mean, running the school fairly. Dude, so fairly. No, Jimmy, please. Pete, enough. Yeah, shut up, Pete. The court hey, must on. know they're king. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? Forget the school. The whole town should know about you. You're like... The mayor. You should leave your mark on City Hall. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Take a dump on the doorstep. <laughs> no, you homunculus. Not a dump. It's something much more elegant. Paint a warning. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll show everyone who's boss. That's right, Jimmy. All right, you girls wait here. This is going to be something they'll never forget. Wait, Jimmy, don't forget about Gary. Wait, wait for me. this away. purging the delicious Unless you have a 
jump shot, you better get back. That's great. Listen, we've got a problem. I'm the king, Petey, the king! Whatever. You're a king with a load of problems. I've only been gone a couple hours. What could have happened? All kinds of things. You remember that promise you made about restoring law and order and improving the school? Let's just say it ain't exactly coming true. Well, if anyone wants a fight, I'm right here. I think Gary must be behind it, but trust me, everyone wants a fight. Listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, man. Focus if I'm going to get that academic scholarship. No seats. This is a disgrace! It's appalling! I don't want plays or a pet rat! It's your fault, Jimmy! Huh? What? No, it isn't. What are you guys talking about? The library is full of rats! And I got my pre 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 med test next week, amigo. Ah, you're such a lame old. Oh, some king you turned out to be. Oh, how I long for the old days. Sure, we were laughed at and mercilessly bullied by everyone, but at least you could study without fear of rodents coming near us. Get off! Oh, did you piss yourself again, Algie? Ew. No, oh, I swear. Algie. I spilled soda on myself. Soda. Oh. Right. What a bunch of sissies. Well, I'm not afraid of a few rats. Jeez, pathetic. Thank <laughs> you. 
check the delivery crates to see if any of them are still lurking in there. These crates? Yes, those crates. The rats appeared once those books were delivered. Everything seems to be fine, miss. I think I got them all. Thank you, Jimmy. If you have any late fees, I think we can just forget about them. I did that a long time ago. I, I mean, thank you, miss. <laughs> There was never any doubt. I wonder. Really think you want to see a I don't believe oh. this! Oh no! How did it Hopkins, come here, boy! Hey, what's oh. up, Mr. Burton? What's up? Oh, what's up? My gym oh. is up in flames! Look! Damn, how'd that happen? As if you don't know! You're a degenerate! The think I trusted you! It wasn't me! Yeah, I'm no saint, but I tried to bring order to the school, to stop the bullying. Ha! <laughs> bullying? I don't care about bullying! In fact, I encourage bullying! That's right! Builds moral fiber! Makes... men! Yeah! Cause you didn't make the team. You had to ruin it for everyone. Yeah, you bully! You're a pig! You ruined my life! What are you talking about? I never wanted to be on the team. You like to torment weak kids, and you've got the personality of a jock strap. Yeah, well, I called the police. You'll be killed for this, my boy. It wasn't me. You're done for, Hopkins. Oh. What? Who was that? It's Yuri. Oh There's people trapped inside. Oh, I'm really scared, Mommy. Man, you guys are pathetic. I'll get him. Where's the fire extinguisher? By the stairs next to the locker room. But don't think I've forgiven you, Hopkins. Done and done right. It's not my fault. Well, where'd he go then, you tramp? Who you calling a tramp? I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him. Now he's gone. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird. King of the school. Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone. Find him, King. Quit poking me. You're both acting crazy. Cut it out. Now tell me, where's Johnny? I don't know. Nobody's seen him. He got a little brokenhearted after we split up, but 
It's not my fault. Someone said they saw a couple of asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? He was a real leader. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks. After lunch tomorrow, I think I'll smash. That's my ride, loser. You're gonna regret that. Come on, hero. You walk tall, don't you? You better get out of here before you get hurt. Gotta borrow. Here. You gotta get into the control room to open the door. Get an orderly uniform from the laundry room. The dropout set me up. What are you waiting for? what this does. Thanks for getting me, kid. Hey, let's go out the back way. Follow me. Thanks for getting me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Some of the local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. I can believe that. Yeah, anyways, I gotta find Lola, see if it's true or not. See ya. All right, Johnny. Have fun. I need to work on my bike. Jimmy Hopkins I delivers. Think you'll be able to help me if you want. It's a pretty cool game. It's all about killing things and taking their stuff. What was it called? Grottos and Gremlins or something like that? Yeah. Hey. 
What are you doing in here? I'm here to beat you up and evict you. Enough talking. Let's fight. Let's. You're dead. Fucking. I'll hang on to that. Now I'm gonna make you cry. I'm gonna rip your head off. Feel that last punch. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know, he goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah, so if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. Them? Yeah, I got him. Now what? Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good.
Here is done. Hey, Jimmy! Just what I was Help looking for. You should be at school. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us! I tried that when Father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it. They've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes. It's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us. Apart from them. Oh, yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. Don't be a truant. Don't end up like me. Alright, Vance. Did you guys steal the Preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah, and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. Rob the thrift shop again? <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like
Well, Popper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fun babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> how it's done. Get back to school. Playing hooky every now and again is okay. You ever given someone an upside Have down atomic the... wedgie and then swirl? Hello, you. Be quiet. Ah, Hopkins. Very well, young squire. Huh? How are you, young man? Can I offer you a highball? Yeah, sure. Actually, maybe you're a little young. Better keep this out of harm's way. Uh, are you gonna be all right, sir? Uh, it's that pompous ass Patrick. He's bad-mouthing me all around the staff room. Why? He keeps calling me a drunk. Says that I am irresponsible. He's trying to get me fired. He's trying to turn Miss Phillips against me. Well, sir, when people say bad things about what I do, I like to prove them wrong. Really? How? By showing a nobler side of yourself? Rising above it? No, not exactly. I like to show that they massively underestimated the force that they were dealing with, and then really give them something to complain about. Ah, oh, the treacherous Machiavelli. I love it. Good. Me too. If I didn't feel so bad for you, your nose would already be broken. See like if you can understand what I mean I by this. I just said that. Are you asking me on a <laughs> date? You <laughs> suck big time. Oh, hello. I sometimes feel like it's just not worth it, you know? I have been. Hi, Dad.
isn't a joke. Trespassing is illegal. Don't be an idiot. I need more growth hormone. <laughs> Look at you, square. I wish someone would call Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you were a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform uh, or attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke! It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me! Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. 
We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Maybe I should abuse my authority. This is how they educate people. Sorry. I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy.
Can't have a switch and not break. Oh! 
some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Oh, man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing, two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah. I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on, you're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay, see you. And that's that. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. Learn, that's for sure. Jimmy, there you 
you are. I don't know what to do, and I smell like me. You don't belong here. Where the hell is that little runt? Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Russell's... Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> All right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America! We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Don't worry, Russell will get it. That kind of hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Almost. It's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. No, Russell, How's it feel to face a trained boxer? Russell, smash!
Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I run your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! If you proved me one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels 
rape. But I never did anything to you. You would have if I'd given you the chance. Face it, I'm smarter than you. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> You're smarter than me. You hate everyone and everyone hates you. Genius. The head likes me. I tied him up, turned his dog to school into a battleground, got kids expelled unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me. You're such a loser. <laughs> Well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! Whoa! I can take you, Hopkins! Any regrets, Jimmy? Move! Thing. You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. What a hero! A lone wolf! Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired! I hope he rots in hell! And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out. More or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Keep working on it. One day, you may reach my level. I hate that I can't find anything wrong with myself. I mean, 